There is a three-way race for Harlem's District 9 City Council seat heading into the Democratic primary. CBS 2's Jesse Mitchell shows us how the candidates share similar views but very different ideas on the approach. These three promised to improve the lives of people in Harlem's Central District. Political newcomer Yusuf Salam facing two current state assembly members, Al Taylor and previous council seat holder Inez Dickens. Why did you want to come back to the city level? Members of the community asked me to return to the city. Because the city council is local, your budget is local, whereas in the state, it's statewide for the most part. Representing the district next door in the assembly, Al Taylor, pastor and army veteran. What is the impact that you want to have? Hope, my faith is my orientation that reminds me that I can. I've made some mistakes, but you can get up. And making sure there are resources in places that people can get that second chance. Yusuf Salam also got a second chance. His political experience may be limited, but he spent 34 years fighting a false rape conviction, seeing the failures in the criminal justice system firsthand. Those who have been close to the pain have to have a seat at the table. Gone are the days where someone is going to be able to articulate for you exactly what it is that you really need. Today, the Central Park Five, now exonerated, walk past the gate named in their honor. But that's not the only change in the neighborhood. Across the street, the old Lincoln Correctional Facility recently opened to asylum seekers. And a more affluent type of tenant now calls Salam's old building home. This was literally the gateway into Harlem. He says these towers represent the real estate battle happening here and believes mixed income and mixed use projects like the proposed 145 development could be beneficial if done right. That space can in fact be one of the green beacons that show us how we can move forward. Dickens is most proud of her track record on housing, aiming to have her own seat at the table for a 145 deal. I come from a real estate background. Everything cannot be low income. It should be a mixture in order for the building to survive. And she wants to help Harlem's buildings eradicate rats. Rats can get into bags. And what I have advocated for with the city is to have those large metal containers. She's admittedly less certain about the solution to the neighborhood's problem with drug use, but Taylor believes individual inspirational connections can spark a change in someone's life. Serving for me, it just, when I walk into a public school or a senior center, it reminds me to remind them that life is not over yet. Dream big. Each candidate sharing care for the community they call home. In Harlem, Jesse Mitchell, CBS 2 News. And primary day is June 27th. If you've got a story you'd like to share with Jesse, you can email her at harlemtippetcbs.com.